Hey guys, in this video we're going to sort out the climatic control wiring. Let's have a look. Alright guys, so this is the Climatronic controller. Flip it around and we have a look at all the pins. So here's all the pins, how do we know which pin to use? So if you look really carefully, you'll see that this is plug D. Then we have A, B and C. So. I know they have special names, they're called like T20 and T16 or 18 or whatever that is. That's the way I'm going to call them, just D, A, B and C. Okay, that's my Clamtronic controller that I've been using. Um, I got a slightly fancier one, thank you to Trevor Brady. And um, the other thing that's fancier about it is it has a surround where my one didn't. So everything's exact same, they're from a B5 Passat. But, um, both of them running can bust are exactly the same. Every single thing is the same on them. All right, so you have D, A, B, and C. So you follow the D wire back, which is the black plug, and the bigger of the black, two black plugs. Follow that back, and we get to this wire here. So there's a fatter wire. Um, I'll go through the rest of the wires afterwards, but you follow the fatter wire, join it in, join another wire to it, so I have them as that kind of quick release. Uh, comes up to here. That's where the quick release is here. It doesn't have to be, you can wire it in straight, but if I'm going to like disconnect and for testing, it's just easier to do this. So you just disconnect to here, and this wire is actually rejoined into the loom. So let's have a look at how to wire it. The plug up. is called Q, so we're gonna use all the even numbers. So that's Q2, Q4, and Q6. So Q2 is going to be the fan to drive the the fan directly. Q4 is to drive uh, the controller. So that's Q4. And then Q6 is the the lights. And um, so I the lights is wired into the live, so it doesn't really matter. So it comes on all the time because it's LEDs, and if you adjust it beside where you turn on the lights it'll mess up the LEDs. So the LEDs just like to be either on or off. They don't like to be uh, varying their voltage. So that's why I'm not wiring up um, Q6, but you can if you want. All right, um, the other thing to know is grounds. So we look in here and here's the two grounds. Two grounds go all the way up there and uh, they're plugged in, they're grounded onto the chassis wall. So I have just two grounds brought in together. So the heavy ground is for the fan and the lighter ground is again for the controller. So basically the lighter wires are for the controller, the heavier wires are for the fan. Um, this one here is quite a heavy wire. That goes all the way back. That joins into Q2, that's for the fan. Q4 is for the controller. And that comes all the way down and joins, where are we going? Here we go. This wire here. I joined into this red and black wire. And that goes into D. So that it's the D plug that drives that. Okay. So then the last one, which is Q6, this is your illumination wire. So if you want to have illumination when you turn on your lights, um, you can do that. I just wired it straight into the light because I was too lazy and I just want it when you turn on the key, it all illuminates so it's nice and easy to see the buttons. And it's all LEDs as well, so they're not going to like take any power anyway. So that's what I did for that. Okay, guys, we're about to turn on to accessories. Currently, no dash lights, nothing on. There we go. So all the LEDs light up. When we turn it off, it turns off. When we turn it back on, it turns back on. And here I have the fan all plugged in. Roaring away. So the reason why I switched from this one or from the other uh, controllers, I'm not really sure did I damage it or something like that, but when I turn it on, it doesn't go into this kind of blinking state saying that there's um, errors which is quite nice, so it just works straight away. Again, this temperature sensor here doesn't work because it's trying to work on canvas. Um, 
I've given up trying to make that work. So we're just going to work. <laughs> we're just going to live happy with not knowing what the temperature is outside. But, um, You can really hear the fans working there. And off. Okay, great. So guys, that's how you wire up one of these controllers. Uh, they're not too hard. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Support me in PayPal in the link below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.